and welcome to College XP. Today I am doing a vlog of, of my day, so um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, right now I just got up. It's 12.19. Um, I had full intention of making breakfast for myself and taking a shower and all that, but um, things have changed. Um, instead I'm going to take a shower, then cook I guess brunch for myself. Um, it's still going to be eggs and corned beef hash, but it's just going to be during lunch instead of breakfast. It's really dark in here, so I'm going to turn on the light. Um, so right now, um, since I missed lunch and I missed breakfast and I'm going to miss dinner probably, I'm just going to order out something. Um, I might just do Sam, no, Sam's, uh, Patriots. Um, for dinner slash lunch slash breakfast. Um, yeah, so that's I'm gonna do that later, not right now. Um, but right now I'm going to look up running shoes. So I don't know which one's the best. Um, Couch to 5K posted this um, question on their Facebook. Um, they asked which running shoes brand is your favorite. And they have like different brands, so I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch of tabs on my browser. Um, look at each brand and see which one costs the less, and which one's better. So I'm on the Nike website right now, and I, it's uh, it's weird. They all have strange names, like it's like Nike Shocks Quality Qualify Plus Two. That's the one I was looking at. That one's. Fifty nine ninety seven, which is the lowest shoe price. Shoes are shoes are expensive. I forgot how expensive shoes are. Um, if I was to get that, I wouldn't get the Nike Plus thing that monitors how far you like jog or run or whatever. Because I really, I only jog on treadmills, so it's it's really it's just gonna show one place going a lot of miles. So that doesn't make sense for me. Okay. So, I'm looking at ASICS shoes, and they are too expensive. The lowest one is like $70, $70 and the other one was like um, $59, so I think that's out of the question. New Balance shoes just like are ugly. Like, I wouldn't even want to wear any of these shoes, so I'm not going to get those. <clears throat> So I'm looking at, I don't even know what this name is, it's like Sakoni, Sakoni, those look, those look pretty nice. I'm looking at the, the men's Cohesin 5, that's reasonably priced, it's $55, which is less than Nike one, and it looks cool, you can get it in red, black and gray, and it has a little swish mark, so I make it that one. Well, actually, I shouldn't even be looking at individual brands. I should be looking at shoe stores in there where I live. Because it's not necessarily, it's not like they're not going to, they may not have this shoe. So I should really check and see what shoe they have before I do anything. Okay, so, if I was to buy any running shoe... I'd probably buy it at Sports Authority because, um, one, they probably know better than, say, like, Sports Authority. No, not. They probably know better than, uh, like any other shoe. Like, Payless, they wouldn't know what, what a good running shoe is. Or they, or, um, Famous Footwear, they probably wouldn't know. They're, they're all just into styles. They're not into what my feet want. They don't understand. So I think Sports Authority would understand. So I'm just gonna like deck out in like all running material at Sports Authority when I go there. I'm just gonna buy the shirts that I like to wear when I run, the um, the marathon shirts, and I'll buy the pants, the shorts, um, the like, the like, I don't know, the basketball shorts, and uh, yeah, I think that, that's what I'm gonna probably gonna do. I'm, I want to jog more when I get back. Um, I went jogging before 
when I was back home for Easter. And that was awesome. I love that. Um, I think what I'm going to do when I get back is jog from my house down to the water and like jog along the water and go to Castle Island and go around the Sugar Bowl and back. That's about three miles. So hopefully I'll be able to do that by the time I get back home. Uh, so yeah, and if I'm not, I'll just redo the program again, the um, Couch to 5K program. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to, I'm growing a beard. Just, yeah. Um, I've been growing this since April 7th, and it's April 19th, so I've been doing it for about, let's see, uh, one, uh, about one, one, two, three, four, five, one week and five days. Um, so, and I'm gonna go until, um, May 7th, so yeah. Um, a month of growing a beard. Maybe I'll keep it. I know, I know my Nana doesn't like me having beards. She's like, when are you going to shave? But, uh, it'll be funny when I walk in and be like, oh, hi, Nana. She's like, who are you? Who are you? And I'll be like, it's George. No, you're not George. It'll be funny. Well, it won't be funny. It'll be kind of sad. So I got my food, and I was like, I saw, I saw, like, it's, like, over a little. I was like, ah, they didn't do a bottle. And I, and I pulled it out, I was like, oh, they did put a bottle, but it's a glass bottle. Like, I didn't even know these existed anymore. I think they're trying to bring them back. So, I need to find a bottle opener now. So, I am done eating. Um, I don't know why I yelled at. Um, what Adam's doing, let's see what Adam's doing. Let's see if Adam's home, all right? Let's see what's, ah! let's see what's, let's see what Adam's doing. Yeah, so my day is pretty much over. I just got back from anatomy and now I'm going to sit on my computer and just surf the interweb until Big Bang Theory comes on. And then after that, I'm probably going to go to bed. So that was about my day. Um, yeah. So I'll uh, see ya next time.